Hey everybody, I'm going to spend a few minutes responding to some of the folks who um, are in the shaving forum and we're going to talk about shaving. I've got about a two day growth here, maybe three, and I've got a couple of options. I've got this Cremo stuff from Stop and Shop and it's been okay. I've got some Old Spice. Do you know they send this from India now? Why not make it here? Anyway, came from India. Regular traditional Old Spice. These are both creams. And then I have in the cup some Old Spice, but it's the bar, right? And for this purpose, since my beard is fairly full, I'm probably going to go with a little dog dish which I love, and perhaps some of the Old Spice. So I'm going to get about a, an, olive, an, an almond's worth in there. And I'll show you that shortly. Squeeze it down because I'm OCD. Alright, so I've got about this much in the bowl. Now, some of these guys, they soak their brush. I'm using a brush that has animal hairs in it and uh, I've used it for a while now I don't have another brush and I'm you know some of the guys they soak it for a really long time in hot water I'm not going to do that I'm just going to make sure it's wet in hot water splash it out a little bit and start working what's in this dog dish and uh, we'll see how this is going to come off. I've got three different double-edged razors. Uh, I'm not going to buy any more. In fact, three was a bit of a stretch for me. I'm, uh, excuse me while I put on my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. There, is that better? Now, I'm still mushing this stuff up inside the dish here. And it doesn't take very long. I mean, I, I don't go nuts over this and spend hours and hours and minutes and minutes. I just get some on the brush and I get it on my face and I heard a guy once say paint it on yeah it depends on how long the hair is that you're cutting I mean with a three-day growth like this uh, you kind of have to double it on there I'll get it on this Old Spice stuff is fairly thick and Puddles the dog came in to supervise. No, I'm not going to show you because she's tiny and I'd have to move things all over the place. But even with that little bit, as you can see, I've got good coverage. I've got a little bit more left in here if I need it. So I'll set that aside and I'll wait. Now, I've got one that butterflies open. This one also butterflies open. This one uh, is just straightforward. It doesn't have any special adjustments. Another one has settings where I can go 1 to 9 and it changes the angle of the blade. And then I've got another one from Germany that's just that solid top and it goes down. So I'm going to use the butterfly one. And I'm going to make happy use, as Bob Ross would say, happy, happy. I'm going to make happy use of the hot water. We'll see if I can do this without cutting myself this time. I don't usually get too many cuts. I just get nicks once in a while. Because I take my time and I don't rush. It also helps to have fresh blades. I'm about due to change the blades in all three of these. I try to change them all at the same time. I'll get a week's worth of shaves and then I'll change them all out. I bought a sample pack of razors from this place. I think it was called ShaveNation.com. And uh, it had a bunch of different razors in it. And I'm just trying them out. I don't much care which brand I use as long as they do the job. So,
I didn't want to talk while I was doing that. The last thing I need to do is cut my lip, huh? No underneath. Now I got a choice. I can rinse this off or I can spin this. Sometimes it pays off to rinse it first because this stuff cakes up fairly quickly. Doesn't matter what brand I use, they all seem to cake up. But I'll go ahead and just flip it. I really don't spend a lot of time. I just, you know, some of these guys, they do two or three passes. Not me. You can get a decent enough pass with one, you know, one time through where it's good enough. This blade is obviously plenty sharp because it's taking it all off. That's the toughest part for me, is right around my chin. Probably for a lot of people. Uh, but I'm essentially done. I haven't, I haven't uh, cut myself, thank goodness for that. I'll rinse my face off. And that's a good enough shave for a regular work day, or for anything really. I see no point in two or three passes. You know, you saw how, how much growth there was there. But um, it took it all off. And as far as I can tell, I didn't cut myself, which is a wonderful thing. And it's good to go for the day. Uh, so for all you guys that fuss like crazy, it's really not necessary. Yeah, could I go back and try to get a closer shave? Sure, but this is good enough. It makes the grandkids happy. You know, that, that Pepe's beard is not creating a problem. So that's about it. Then the cleanup is real simple. It's just hot water on the brush to clean it out. Squeeze it out, rinse out the bowl that has all the extra shaving cream that I don't need. Maybe I could have cut back on how much I actually used in the first place. But the bowl's clean, wipe it off. Okay, so really, how long was that? I'll check the length on the video, but what, three, four minutes for a decent shave? That ought to be the way it is. See you next time.